Today we are looking at how I think AI is already changing the way we are consuming content and my predictions going forward. I will also show you how easy it is now to create a personalized AI podcast just for your own use and enjoyment. So let's just get started. I tried to create this roadmap of how just I think this could go. Of course, these are just my predictions, so there's nothing, there's no truth here, uh, but it's just something I'm guessing. I'm being very optimistic here, I just had to say that, uh, because this really depends on how much compute will be available. Uh, but we just have to wait and see, I just think it's funny to explore uh, topics like this. So here is kind of what I made, so you can see. Uh, I already think we have text and writing with GPT-4 and Claude and maybe some Google Gemini coming out later this year. Uh, you can create your own text and writing with using LLMs. Uh, I think that's a given. And as I will show you now, I think already we can produce podcasts. I think the text to voice and both the writing uh, models now are already good enough uh, because we have seen like these text to voice generators now like Eleven Labs. Play HT and the other ones that are just on the papers yet. Uh, they are so human-like that you can't almost not tell the difference, right? So I think podcast is ready. Before we move on to music, I have something I want to share with you. So let's take a look at this from today's sponsor, HubSpot. Email marketing has always been a cornerstone of connecting with audiences, but how do you do it in a new AI-driven world? You're in luck because HubSpot, the sponsor of today's video, is helping us navigate this new frontier. HubSpot has rolled out a free ebook called AI Trends for Marketers 2023. If you're looking to give your email campaign that special edge, this is your roadmap. Spanning over 30 pages, it's low with actionable tactics on crafting data-driven AI-enhanced email campaigns. And the best part? It's all up for grabs. Just follow the link in the description below and get your free copy today. Two sections that truly stood out to me were the deep dive into AI's role in personalizing email content and the showcase of innovative AI tools that are shaping the future of email marketing. So again, I want to give a big shout out to HubSpot for creating this invaluable guide. Grab your copy from the link below and start your journey with AI-powered marketing. Now, let's get back to the video. Uh, music is not far off, it has to be said. We're gonna look at an example. Uh, this is like the Ghostwriter example. I think it was earlier this year, actually. This suddenly hit TikTok and it kind of blew up all over the place. Uh, let's just listen to five seconds of this. So yeah, he kind of took the, I think he did the writing in himself and he created some beat or something and he took like the voices from Der Drake and The Weeknd and yeah, it sounds great. Um, so if we move on to the lower part of this, we have short video. So this is a bit more mm, maybe next year, I think so. Uh, so I think we're just gonna head over to... Um, Runway.ml. I'm gonna do an example here. I think they have about like five to ten seconds now of video you can create from a prompt. So let's just head over there and take a look. Okay, so over here at Runway ML, we are gonna take a look at what is called text image to video. So here you can choose between putting in a text to turn it into a video or an image into a video. Uh, I think we're just gonna go with image plus description. I haven't tried that before. So I'm just gonna put up a mid journey image here. I'm gonna select this one, right? Add an image to use first frame for a video. Use text to describe your scene and how it moves. Okay, so let's try this. Okay, so we have like a female here looking at a cyborg. So let's go female showing low to a cyborg. I don't know how this is going to turn out, so let's just give it a test. So this is going to be four seconds of video. Okay, so there we have it. So let's blow it up. Let's put some music in the background and let's watch it loop a few times. Okay, not too bad. This was just a single shot, right? Uh, I have only put up the image, I put in that prompt, and that's about it. So, if we worked more on this, maybe we can do something better. Okay, so let's move on here. So, you can see I put movies at 2027. I think that's a bit too optimistic. Maybe we can do like movies 2030, maybe TV series, maybe a couple of years later or five years later. Uh, 
this all depends on how the technology develops, of course, but I think mostly on how much compute we have available. I have a very cool example of what movies could look like created with AI, so I think we're just gonna go and have a look at it. Okay, so yes, this is the one I meant. So this was from Nicolas Nubar here on X. He used images from Mid Journey, he created the videos with Runway, and he edited it in CapCut. So let's take a look at it. It's about 50 seconds, I think. So let's just watch all of this and see if it's if it's something, if it's the future. Yeah, I think that's cool. That's awesome, right? And he only used images from Mid Journey, and uh, he used Mid uh, uh, Runway ML to put this motion to the images, these four second clips, like we just created. So awesome. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's just go back to our slide and look at some more interesting stuff. So yeah, very exciting. Uh, so I think we're just gonna go back to the podcast slide now, and I'm gonna show you how you can actually create now your personalized AI podcast. So what I have done here is I went to ChatGPT Plus. Uh, you need to have that if you were gonna follow exactly the way I did it. I used the browse web browsing feature. Uh, we also have a custom uh, settings here I wanna show you. So this is just, uh, this is probably just gonna be more of our system prompt. You are a podcast creator, your task is to complete the assignment. The assignment is the user will provide a topic. Find the resources you need to create a solo podcast about uh, for the topic. Ask the user when you think you have enough information to write the podcast. If the user confirms that you have enough information, write a 1000 to 1500 word blog post style solo podcast episode in the style that fits the topic. So that was just something I made up. So let's see here. So I wanted to make this personal. So let's say you have a job interview coming up. So this was like a software engineering position at Apple. I would love to listen to a podcast episode on how I can best prepare myself. That's an important milestone. Congratulations. So here you can see uh, ChatGPT web browsing used Bing to gather resources. Uh, that is relatable to like the, um, the Apple interview process. And we have some insights into the work culture. And I just said, yeah, if you think it's enough amount, go ahead. So this is meant to be a very simple way to do it. But of course, you can dive deep into... I am actually making a podcast episode about um, the history about Super Mario RPG. Because it's uh, Nintendo is doing a remake of it. So I thought it would be fun to make a podcast episode. So it's gonna be all about the history of the game, the TLDR of the game, backstory about the lesser known characters, why they are making the the recast, why they are why the game was so popular. Basically, an episode dedicated to only Super Mario RPG. So I th thought that could be funny. But uh, let's take a look here. So you can see, uh, yes, let's dive into the full episode. Here it goes. So the title is "Navigating Apple Software Engineering uh, Interview." A comprehensive prep guide. So here you can see. Uh, so what I did, I just copied all of this. This I read through it. Sounded pretty good. So I just went here and to personalize it a bit, I just said, uh, "Welcome to your episode, Chris. This episode aims to be your guiding companion for your next job interview." So that was the personalization I did. Uh, I turned this into a PDF here. So the next thing we're going to do now is head over to. Um, Head over to Eleven Labs to actually create the voiceover for this podcast. So you can see Eleven Labs now has this new thing called project, so we can create a new project. I want to initialize a project from a document, okay. So I'm gonna just, uh, yeah, we're gonna select standard quality, we're gonna upload the PDF file, we're gonna name it Apple, 
Apple interview. Okay. And let's try to create this. Okay, so here we have it. Here is everything from the PDF inside 11 labs. So what we're gonna do now is just gonna select our voices. I have I kind of prefer this voice for podcast. So the settings, I'm gonna adjust it a bit, not too much, like maybe like this. I wanna uh, yeah, I think I'm happy with this. So what I'm gonna do now is just convert this, uh, put on some music, and then we're gonna have a listen to it. Okay, so what I did is I just put the episode here into Premiere Pro. I put on some music, I made some subtitles. That means we can export it as an MP3 file and an MP4 file. So we can both upload it on YouTube if you want that as a video or just an MP3 like on Spotify or something. And let's have a listen to our personalized podcast. Welcome to your episode, Chris. This episode that aims to be your guiding companion for your next job interview. Today, we are tackling a very special topic, preparing for a software engineering interview at Apple. Apple is not just a tech company. It's a global phenomenon with a cult-like following. Getting a chance to interview here is a big deal, and we want to ensure you are well prepared to seize this opportunity. Okay, that's a good start. Let's just skip ahead a bit and see what we have here. First things first. Understanding the interview process is crucial. Apple's interview process unlike its peers, such as Google and Microsoft, is known to be unstructured and somewhat unpredictable. Ah. It can last anywhere from one to four months from resume submission to offer. Four months, so that's a lot. No, that's a long wait. Yeah. But remember, good things come to those who wait and prepare well. Mm -hmm. The process kicks off with the application, where instead of... Okay, I think that's enough. You get the point, right? So you could really personalize your... I call this podcast episode, but you can call it what you want. This could also be like just a motivational speech. Yeah, so there's a lot of stuff we could do here. So yeah, I think it was pretty cool and very easy to make, right? So yeah, I think that's gonna round up this video. Uh, I found it very interesting to look at this, like these predictions here. Are they real? I don't know. Uh, I think we probably have to put it a bit more forward, but like... GPT-4 people said like three years ago that that's 10, 15 years away. So who knows? Maybe in five years you are making your own movies. <laughs> That'd be fun, right? Uh, but anyway, thank you for tuning in. Hope you found this interesting. Maybe you learned something. But anyway, I'll see you again soon. Have a great day.